again, this is John Wilde, here to give you another look at vintage action figures. Today, we will begin our look at Evil Knievel toys from Ideal 1972, starting with a look at who Evil Knievel was, how he became famous, and why there is a legendary toy line associated with his name. Robert Craig Knievel, or as he would be later known as, Evil Knievel, was born on October 17, 1938 in Butte, Montana. He was raised by his grandparents, and when he was eight years old, he attended a Joey's Chitwood stunt show. This memory inspired him later on in his life. As a teenager, Evil was a superior athlete with a competitive spirit that often got him into trouble. On one very important occasion in young Evil Knievel's life, he crashed his motorcycle after a police chase. He was put into jail and shared the jail with a man named Knawful. When the jailer checked on the cells later that night, he commented, we got awful Knawful in one cell and Evil Knievel in here. It's gonna be a hell of a night. Hence, Evil getting the name Evil. After spending some time in the US Army, coaching and playing a semi-professional hockey team and racing motocross, Evil was married and had a son. He needed to find a way to continue to feed his competitive spirit while also providing for his young family. He remembers the Joey Chitwood show he had seen as a child and decides that instead of cars, motorcycles would make an exciting live show. The first show, he performed wheelies, standing on the bike seat at breakneck speed, and jumped a 20-foot long box containing two mountain lions and rattlesnakes. The show was a huge success, gaining him local fandom, but Evil had his sights set on the national and international stage. After appearing on ABC Network's The Wide World of Sports, successfully jumping 16 cars in Gardenia, California, Evil began to get national exposure. His next big jump would be over the fountains of Caesars Palace and Casino on December 31, 1967. This jump, while unsuccessful, captured the imagination of America, and Evil's injuries that he sustained became the stuff of legend. He recovered and continued to jump distances each time greater than the last, until he needed a new angle to satisfy his competitive spirit. Then, Evil Knievel announced that he would jump across the Grand Canyon. But the federal government wouldn't let Evil jump over a national park, so Evil chose Snake River Canyon in Idaho to complete his next stunt. The stage was set on September 8, 1974. Hundreds of thousands paid to see this event via closed-circuit TV and arenas across the country. Evil Knievel and his Sky Cycle Jet X2, more of a rocket than a motorbike, would jump the canyon. But due to faulty engineering, a parachute deployed early and the jump was unsuccessful. Evil did not let failure ever set him back, and he successfully jumped 14 Greyhound buses, or 133 feet, at Kings Island, New Jersey, October 25, 1975. This record would stand for 24 years before being broken in 1999. Evil Knievel also became a star of the big and the small screen. A biography movie starring George Hamilton called Evil Knievel hit the screens in 1971, and Evil himself started an adventure film called Viva Knievel in 1977. He often appeared on ABC's Wild World of Sports, late night talk shows, and played himself on the Bionic Woman TV show. With name recognition, it wasn't too long before merchandisers were knocking down Evil Knievel's door, namely, Ideal Toys. Morris and Rose Mitchum founded the Ideal Novelty and Toy Company in Brooklyn, New York when they invented the teddy bear in 1903. After Mitchum's death in 1938, the company changed its name to the Ideal Toy Company. They created games like Mousetrap and Hands Down, and many different dolls for girls. And in 1966, produced the Captain Action Doll to compete with Hasbro's G.I. Joe. Ideal Toys failed toy line of cars that used an ingenious gyro-style friction engine was pitched to Evil Knievel to place his name on. This time, Ideal Toys would use a motorcycle to house this powerful gyro engine, and a seven inch Evil Knievel would ride on each one. Evil Knievel's stunt cycle was produced in 1972 for children everywhere to recreate Evil Knievel's jumps, both successful and not. Between 1972 and 1977, Ideal Toys sold $125 million worth of Evil Knievel merchandise. The toy line was expanded to include dragsters, choppers, stunt and crash car, action figure accessory packs, a scramble van, the Super Jet Cycle, and the Sky Cycle X2 itself. A set of die-cast motorbikes and cars were also produced. The merchandising machine of Evil Knievel was on TV commercials and classic comic book advertising is shown here. 
Evil even had his own comic book. By the end of the 1970s, the luster had worn off of the name of Evil Knievel. On successful projects like the failed Shark Tank jump, on January 31, 1977, he was heard on a practice run, and Evil in a Haystack, an idea for Evil to be dropped from the bomb bay of a B-52 bomber with no parachute and land in a haystack, made his act not as appealing. Evil's body began to fail him also. Even successful jumps ended in broken bones. He retired from jumping in the early 1980s. Even in retirement, Evil continued to merchandise product, namely legendary scooters. Evil Knievel passed away on November 30, 2007, after a long battle with incurable lung disease. Evil Knievel talked to his audiences at all his appearances about core values, keeping your word, staying away from drugs, and promoting motorcycle and bike safety helmets. Evil Knievel's biographical movie described him this way, I am the last gladiator in the new Rome. I go into the arena, and I compete against destruction, and I win. And next week, I go out there and I do it again. Many people fondly remember the excitement that they felt when Evil jumped his motorcycle, but many more of us felt that excitement in our own driveways, setting up our own ramps and stunts to challenge our ideal toy. That is why 50 years after his first jump over a 20-foot pit of mountain lions and rattlesnakes, we are still talking about Evil can Evil. I would like to thank you for watching this introduction video to the Evil Knievel toy line from Ideal Toys 1972. Please like this video if it is worthy and subscribe to see more looks at vintage toys and get my latest uploads as they are released. Until next time.